Hey guys, it's Wednesday. I'm feeling okay considering how late I was up last night. I don't even know what time exactly I went to bed, but it was around four o'clock. My alarm went off at seven and I was like, <laughs> nope. Then another alarm went off at 7.30, nope. Another alarm went off at eight. I was awake, but I didn't get out of bed until 8.30 and then it was still just slow. So I decided to start today's live stream an hour late. So I streamed an hour later than usual just to make sure it's still the full four hours. And I just ended the stream and I think I'm going to watch the Game of Thrones leak because I don't want to get spoiled on it. Like Sunday is just so far away. If this was leaked on like a Saturday, I would just wait. But like I just, I need to watch it. I found a website that's streaming it in HD. I'm going to watch that. I'll still watch it on Sunday. I'm going to give HBO their view because they deserve it. But I just, I don't want to get spoiled. So I'm just going to watch it. I have this little boo on my lap. What am I supposed to do? I'm stuck here. Oh, baby. I'm gonna wash up these dishes and cook some food. Dishes are done, and now it's time to make some pushing popsicles. Oof. <laughs> well, a little more than that, but I just, me, me. This stuff is potent. I could probably top them up a little bit higher, but I just don't want to spill it. I still don't know what I want to eat. Like, I, I was gonna cook while doing the dishes, and all I did was do the dishes. And I'm hungry, but I'm sitting here like, oh, oh. first world problems, you know? <laughs> anyway, I'm thinking, because of the late stream and Game of Thrones thing, I'm gonna not work on my Etcher video today. I'm gonna work on Doodle Domain stuff instead. I was gonna do Etcher today and tomorrow, and then Doodle Domain on Friday. Instead, I will do a bunch of Etcher stuff tomorrow, and then whatever I don't finish, I can do on Friday. And that should be good, because then I don't have to like worry about going out and filming things just in daylight in general because I know I have studio lights but it's different when I also have natural light coming in through the windows downstairs plus I want to go outside and film stuff and I don't know there's already long shadows outside and it's just I'd rather just film it earlier in the day I keep telling myself that I'm done with the keto thing but then I just keep eating keto like I've had things that aren't but I keep telling myself that you know I'm kind of getting sick of it now. It's not that hard to stick to. It's just that I am starting to really miss certain foods, but I still want to stay away from really bad ones for now. But I feel like it has given me this sense of control over food that I didn't have before. And I feel like it's more safe now for me to just go purely like eating healthy and just watching overall calorie count and that's it. Not worrying about if it's high in carbs or whatever although still staying away from like pasta don't eat too much bread i'm still gonna like stay away from a lot of carbs but not to the extent where i'm officially eating keto so i'm like okay i'm done next morning oh two strips of bacon and two eggs i'm like what i'm still eating keto <laughs> i mean i guess that's because that's mostly what we have here is like a lot of the groceries i bought was for eating this way but i think i'm like starting to finally rebel and be like you know I have enough confidence in myself to not overeat if I allow myself to just eat normal foods. Because all I've eaten so far today is the two eggs and the two strips of bacon. I think I might run to Superstore and get one of their pre-made salads. Because those are pretty good. Get one of the ones with goat cheese in it. And then just see if there's anything else I want. Alright, I'm back so I'll show you what I picked up. Picked up a salad like I said I wanted. One with goat cheese, yes! raspberry vinaigrette dressing then I picked up these I don't know if I'll be able to eat all these if I'm having the salad too because this is a lot of food but they're vegetable rolls Ooh, and there's a little dipping sauce for them so I'll pick away at those two things tonight and then I have some spits dill pickle flavor which is my favorite spits flavor we have some spicy flavored ones well we still do there's still some left but Christian brought them home the other day and we were munching on them while we were watching Tangled Before Ever After that's the movie that comes before the series and 
Now you're watching that the other night and it's just nice to have something to pick at while you're watching a movie and you feel like you're eating a lot but really you're not because it takes time to shell them all so it's just kind of nice you feel like you're eating a lot but you're not mm. i was gonna also get more spicy ones but they didn't have any at superstore and then this is my guilty purchase <laughs> i'm staying away from official ketchup chips until after the wedding but ketchup crispy minis these are so delicious not as good as ketchup chips but you know They'll do the job and they have way less calories, so yep, that's some of these. <laughs> I just wanted to see her sit up. <laughs> Getting down to the bottom where there's mostly just leaves. And some delicious cheese. And some delicious cheese. I could easily just go for an early night tonight and not do much of anything else. I was just dozing off right now. I just woke up and I was like, should I just be out for the night? Go to bed early? Ugh. Super early. <laughs> so one thing I have to do with Doodle Domain is delete all my playlists. And it looks like I have to do it individually. So what I need to do on Doodle Domain is delete all my playlists. And you have to do it individually. Ah, I have a lot of playlists. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have all the toy videos in one playlist and I'm going to have the videos all unlisted. So they won't appear in the sidebar in the recommended section or anything, but you can still go back and watch them. That way the channel looks cleaner and it's just the art videos and not all these. But if you go to the playlist, you can rewatch them. Why does it keep redirecting me here after I delete a playlist? Like this is the actual playlist page. I have to go back to the video manager every time. That's annoying. Then click on playlists. Then click on the one I want to delete. Click edit. Then edit. Then this. Delete playlist. There's got to be an easier way to do this. See, and then it redirects me to my actual playlist tab. I'm not in my video manager anymore. Why do you do this to me? This is going to take time, man. Uh, is there not a thing for playlists? I deleted all my playlists. I just selected all my videos. And then I'm trying to do an action. No. You can do that. You can't just add them all to a playlist. You can't bulk add them to a playlist. Okay, this seems to be the fastest way so far. I just went to the playlist itself and clicked add videos. And I think I can just select multiples and go all the way down the list. Well, there's only a certain amount showing though. Oh no, it's, it'll keep loading the list to be longer and longer. That might work. Looks like I can add multiples. Can I shift select all the way to the bottom? No, I have to control click each one or shift select each one. But normally if you shift select two things that are spread apart, it selects everything in between. This is not doing that. I'm going to have to just keep scrolling down. <laughs> select each one individually. My stomach has been hurting ever since I ate. I don't know if that was just too much veg, but it hurts my... Why you gotta do this to me? I try to eat healthy, and you do this to me. <laughs> anyway, I'm creeping on other kids' drawing channels. Just kind of like seeing how things are done already. Seeing what I want to do differently. What would I do that's kind of similar or not? Like, I don't know. Just creeping and I'm subscribing to a bunch of them on this account just so I can like keep tabs on them and like see what people are up to most of these channels don't actually have any kind of voiceover and so it's tempting to not do any because it's like oh that'd be so much easier to just like throw music over it but i kind of want to do at least partial voiceover is what my original plan was is show things step by step and explain each step and then at the end when i color it it would be just music with no commentary because it's just coloring it in like I'm going to be coloring in every single thing the same way, so there's no point in having the commentary for the coloring. But, yeah, I, I want a commentary for the drawing portion. And so, I think that's one way mine will stand out from some of the other ones. Although, without voice, it makes it more international, because not everyone speaks English. But, that's the way I want to do mine. The voiceover is going to be separate, though. I'm probably just going to draw a bunch of stuff and film it, and then when I go to edit it, 
I will add some voiceover on top to explain the steps. It's super basic stuff though. I don't think people even realize how simplistic the art is going to be on this channel because I know some people are like, why are you even making a kid's art channel? Like the content here is kid friendly on your Bailey J channel. Like why would you make a second one? And it's because it's going to be totally different. And just kind of like a little guilty pleasure for me to do more simple doodles. I don't know. Just like a little guilty pleasure of mine, I guess. Kind of like the toy channel was. <laughs> Next, I think I'm going to make a little intro thing. I don't know what I'm going to do. I just want something basic with like maybe a bit of motion graphics. I don't know. Just something simple to be an intro. I could even use the same jingle that I use for the unboxing intro. But just change the visuals. <laughs> It could pretty much be the same as the unboxing one, except instead of the character popping out a box, it just kind of pops up from below screen. And then same with the text, like with the, here I'll just show the unboxing intro for people who don't know what my current video intro is. That, that's it. So I can use that exact same thing. It's nice and short, it's two seconds. There's a little jingle. Except it'll be the new avatar that pops up. This one. Oh yeah, there's still gonna be these. Once I get my first video up, I can replace this. I mean, I could just delete this whole box, but this is sort of like the channel trailer where you could just put any video to show up here. The toy ones still show up there, but other than that, there's no more playlists on the home page. If you go to videos, yeah, well, that's actually kind of weird. I thought they wouldn't show in my videos list. I thought they'd only show up in, if you go to playlists, because that's what my Zed Kitty Zed channel is like. I unlisted all the videos on that channel, and they no longer appear in my videos tab. But these ones are. It could just be a delay in it updating, or that's just how it's gonna go. But on the home page, at least, you don't see them except whatever yeah, video is featured. That is high pitch. Yeah, everyone! Oh! Channel is currently in transition. Channel transition, channel transition, channel transition, channel transition, channel transition, 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 tradition. What? Another thing I find interesting about these other toy channels is a lot of them use alcohol based markers to color. The color goes on a lot smoother that way, and I'm like, oh, it looks nicer, and then I'm tempted to do it, but I'm gonna try Crayola because that's what a lot of kids have is Crayola markers, and so I think it might be nice for them to see me using that. But if it looks too bad, then I might stop. But I think it should be okay. Got my big old box of Crayolas in here. Oh, there's Bibbit Truths down here. I forgot about that. Okay, here's the intro. I'm gonna thicken the outline of this text a little bit. This was the before, here's after. It's not gonna be as thick as it should be, but I think it'll help because right now, everything is a super thick outline except that. So, yeah, I kinda wanna fix that. Okay, the thicker text is in there, and I also made the pencils in the background scale up a little bit. I played around with the other elements also moving at the end, but I like it with just the pencils and things moving. It just gives it a bit of motion. It almost gives an optical illusion that the Doodle Domain logo is shrinking a little bit as well. But it's actually staying the same size. And so is the avatar. They both don't move after they're done hopping. So I was on the Doodle Domain videos page and switched over to my art channel and it says this channel has no videos. So that's good. So I think just for me it shows my videos but for other people if they click that none of them will show up. The only way to access the old ones is to click on playlists and then there's all of them in the one playlist. Wait, but now the pl these are all back on the front though? Um, your surprise, these playlists don't exist anymore. Play all. It doesn't actually start the playlist but it does play the first video. Ah, get out of here! I was also trying to come up with some playlist ideas for Doodle Domain. I mean, it depends on the type of stuff I end up drawing a lot. Like, I might get more specific with these, or I might just think of new ones. I don't know, but just some ideals. 
but I'm gonna head to bed so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs>